Yeah, man, the, the, the Ukraine-Russia war is crazy. I keep up with it. Not only do I super keep up with it. I'm part of like Telegram groups in real time, like oh. full of all the, I super, I think it's, cause it's next door to me. Romania, <sighs> Ukraine are next door. It's scary that, it, I mean, Putin, he wakes up, he fucking's on drugs. He has a bad <laughs> day. He's wanting to off himself and he says, fuck it. Or even Kim Jong-un, any of these guys that is just I know, one. Man. I know it's nuts, but uh, also the whole geopolitics of it is nuts. And what's actually saddest is you talk about hierarchy and we were talking earlier about being an important man. What's sad about any war is that it's always the normal people who suffer. And it's also sad in wars where there's never a good guy and a bad guy. One guy's half good, half bad. The other guy's half good, half bad. In the West, they're trying to say Putin's completely the bad guy. He's not. He has, his, he has reasons, and his reasons are very logical and sound. And anybody who researches it understands what his reasons are. And, and Ukraine's not completely the bad guy either. So it's a, it's a nuanced, difficult one. It's hard. Those are the worst ones. And it's always the people at the bottom of society who get fucked. Even as a man, the men who are getting destroyed in a trench get blown to pieces by artillery. The, it, and, and it's terrible, right? Because they don't stand a chance. But they're, they're like the lower levels of society. If you're an important guy, you either got out or you're an officer or whatever. It, even, even if something as baseline as war, if you're a man of high status, you don't end up in the trench. But if you're just Joe Schmo, you end up doing the fucking dirty work. And in a war, it's the worst, man. And it's, it's really a shame because I watch it on both sides and I see it and it almost brings tears to my eyes. All this shit's going to happen. It's fucking sad, bro. It's really sad. And especially as a man, I feel affinity with all those those warriors who are out there. And a lot of them are dying and you ne you've never stood a chance. Yeah. You're just sitting there with your boys and boom. In us in America, we don't hear anything about really the Ukraine and Russia war. Not too much. Well, they, they give you they give you the propagandized version, right? They right. give you the propaganda that Putin's a crazy man who's lost his mind. And, da, da, da. and that's not the case at all. The, the true case is that NATO, when, when the USSR fell, NATO said it will not expand one inch eastward. That's what they promised Putin. Since then, they've expanded eastward nonstop. They have Lithuania, Estonia, Romania, Poland, Bulgaria, Turkey, they've just expanded, right? They've expanded all the way to Russia's border. And and Russia and Putin have taken them to international court repeatedly saying, listen, this is against the rules. You said you're not going to do this. You keep breaking the agreement you signed. If, 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 if Russia was putting missiles in Canada and Mexico City and expanding towards your border with military bases, you wouldn't be happy either. So he's taken them to court repeatedly. They ignore it. America just vetoes it. They just, they don't respect international law because they're America. They're the big boss. Fuck you. Boom. Veto, veto, veto. So Putin's, so Putin's sitting there saying, listen, I've done everything legally. I've done everything I'm supposed to do. I've told you guys to keep, stop encroaching on us. You keep encroaching on us. You're expanding now. And Ukraine is the final, final line. You're not going to let Ukraine join NATO. Ukraine gets this new leader funded by the West and they, he starts talking about joining NATO. And, and then Russia's like, no, you're not. You're not gonna do that. Also, to couple, couple into the fact that a lot of ethnic Russians in the East, Ukraine has been decimating them. They, they talk about what's happening now, but they never talked about this war starting in 2014. Ukraine's been shelling its own towns in the East, which are pro-Russian for, for, for years. So there's people who are living in these pro-Russian settlements getting blown up by their own Ukrainian, Ukrainian military. They call them separatists, whatever. So Ukraine's been committing war crimes for a very long time anyway. So Putin's just said, look, Ukraine's the final straw. You're not gonna join NATO. And then they start talking too tough about joining NATO. And this is what's kind of interesting about geopolitics, because anyone who's a friend of America is completely arrogant. It's, it's, it's just kind of like, you look at an analogy, you're Russia, the NATO is your enemy to a degree. If you see your enemy in the end of your garden, and every day you say, don't move, and he takes one step, one step, one step, eventually, are you gonna wait for him to get in the house? Or are you gonna walk out to your garden and say, I fucking told you? So like, it's, he has his arguments, he has his reasons. Yeah. So and they don't say any of this in the West. And then obviously it's the other, the other argument is that the Ukrainians are sovereign. They can make their own decisions. They decide if they want to join NATO or not. But then you go into it. Well, are they sovereign if all their leadership is paid for by the West and it's a puppet fucking regime? Are they even sovereign? You, you, go, you go down the rabbit hole and it's super interesting because then you start realizing there's a whole bunch of countries in the world where none of their fucking leadership, none of the people actually agree with the leadership. The leadership just seemed to get put in somehow and, and they're making all these fucking decisions that nobody in the general populace agrees with and you could extrapolate out to a bunch of Western nations too. And then you start realizing, well, this whole thing's a fucking scam. And then you go down the rabbit hole, then you're a conspiracy theorist, then you can cancel. Yep. Or assassin.